Hey there, YouTubers. So we're going to talk about nail guns and oiling or not oiling. Most nail guns require oil. Not all nail guns require, require oil. Uh, this is a nail gun that requires oil. And one of the things you can do, I don't know if that's going to come through on video. I have the greatest lighting here. I know you can tell. There we go. Oil. Oil goes in right there. So the customer brought in this gun saying it wasn't working correctly. And I don't believe this gun has ever had oil in it. There's just no trace of oil in there whatsoever. It is just, honestly, it's the driest gun that I've ever seen. Can you, can you even see the O-ring in there? That's just amazing. So, I'm going to pull the cylinder out here. Boy, that came out easy. And uh, not a trace of oil on here anywhere. I feel a little bit of uh, the residual uh, grease from the factory, but that's about it. Uh, just amazing and you can see that that uh, rubber deposited on the inside of the cylinder there uh, that uh, you shouldn't see it like that you might see a little bit of streaking here and there but that's about it <clears throat> so I see I don't know if that's oil or residual grease it could be Looks more like broken down, if I get it in frame here. Looks more like broken down grease on that O-ring to me. And, wow. That O-ring is just bone dry. Uh, never, never seen a nail gun this dry. And they will not dry out this much uh, from just sitting around. There we go, got some light. Yeah, that's that's bone dry. So there is residual grease in there, a little bit here and there, and the rest of that blackness is actually rubber deposit and uh, a little bit of grease as well. Um, so in any case, if you're unsure as to whether or not you should oil your gun, uh, there is this thing called an instruction manual and I know for your average American um, We generally just don't read those but we should we really should uh, I, I can't think of the name of the manufacturer right now, but there's actually a uh, I want to say it's a Scandinavian manufacturer of I believe a forestry uh, implement that they refuse to sell to America because they say, and the reason is they say Americans don't read instructions and they don't want to deal with uh, people calling about uh, alleged problems when uh, there really isn't one. When the only problem is uh, uh, the, the customer didn't read the instructions. Boy, look, look at this O-ring right here. That's just, that is bone dry. You should never, you should never see this inside your nail gun. Uh, frequently, I'll open up a nail gun and I'll see a tremendous amount of oil because the, the, the gun has gone over its lifespan uh, for its factory O-rings. So the customer will take and just load it up with oil thinking that they're going to break something loose and it's going to work. It, it doesn't. So um, after you put a few uh, cases of nails through a gun, it's time for an O-ring kit. But it's... Uh, Oil. You need oil in guns. There we go. Oil right there. If you can see it. Again, great lighting. So, in any case, read the instructions, look on the base, and um, use this thing called the Internet. Um, if you don't have your instructions, uh, I know most people have the Internet, and that's probably how you're watching this video. So, anyway, a little bit of sarcasm. Uh, hopefully the video was fun. Uh, hopefully it was informative. Have a great day.